Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, and we're in Artesia, New Mexico. Believe it or not, uh, the event paid for us to come out and shoot the big barbecue competition, but we heard about Henry's Barbecue in Artesia. And what's your name, buddy? My name is John Henry. John Henry, and you the main cook here? Main cook, yes, sir. I do all the cooking here. Okay. And, uh, man, I've seen that y'all had some brisket and some uh, ribs and then... Uh, some smoked turkey and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, about your uh, brisket and your beef ribs I know that's one thing that's real big down here in the, in the southwest. Yes, sir Yeah, our uh, beef ribs our brisket everything brisket smoked for 12 hours in our smoker with apple wood um, As well as the uh, beef ribs they're 12 hours smoke as well um, The one meat we have brisket wise. It's a little unique to the area is a green chili brisket chop brisket um, it's real popular around here. Ever in New Mexico, you got to have something with green chili in it, otherwise people just won't eat it. So, <laughs> what exactly is green chili? Uh, it's just a little chili. It's a green chili, and uh, it's a mild, so it's not real hot. The ones we use aren't hot, and uh, they come from Hatch, New Mexico, just right down the road. So now, you know, something I found out today that I was really surprised about. There's a significant amount of agriculture. When I came down, there was a lot of irrigation, and mm -hmm. and then there's a bunch of. Uh, uh, milk cows, a uh, massive amount of milk cows, and uh, I was asking him, uh, where do you get your apple wood from? Uh, I cut it from uh, Runyon's Farms. It's about 45 minutes up towards the mountains. Uh, they've been a friend of ours for as long as I can remember, so they've got a huge orchard. We go cut apple wood as much as we want, and uh, it's an endless supply as long as we'll cut it. So, Wow, you know, in the United States, there's no limit to ingenuity, and, and you know, I stopped 15 times between Roswell and this town just to shoot the landscape and surprisingly enough now we were in the plain when you get out 10 miles i mean it is nothing but desert but 10 miles in coming in there's a significant amount of big green corn and all kinds of stuff in there absolutely and i mean just an hour and a half away you're at 8,000 feet in the mountains i mean it's wow. beautiful so yeah the, the the land is very different but there's a lot to offer around here so well, we're going to have to go in, if you don't mind, uh, John Henry, we want to look at your cooker. If you could take us just on a, a little tour, we'll follow you with the camera and, and uh, take us through your serving line and then kind of take us back and, and then take us back into your cooker. And, and do you know what kind of cooker you have? It's a Southern Pride. Oh, is it? It's a yes, sir. Southern Pride smoker. So. Wow, Southern Pride all the way down here in the southwest. And I tell you, they support a lot of restaurants. They're a fantastic cooker. And uh, boy, when you see all this food, which I know you've already seen a few of, a few shots of it, you're not going to believe what the Southern Pride is putting out. All right, we're going to head on inside Henry's Barbecue and check out their cooker and their cuisine. So stay tuned. Oh, wow, that's good. It's going to be a consist of uh, any mixed mashed meat you want, up to half pound. You get two sides of your meal, and it comes with bottomless bread. We have full pork, top beef with good chili, top beef with barbecue sauce, smoked turkey, smoked chicken, smoked sausage, sliced brisket, and chicken wings. I got it all. Now, if you got a number one, would you? okay, buddy, why do you go to Henry's? This barbecue's great, people are good. What's your favorite plate? Uh, the number one. Number one? Yeah. How about you, buddy? Why don't you go? Right here. How about you? What's your favorite plate? Uh, I like the barbecue sandwich. Uh, really good. Uh, people are friendly. Real good service. It was great. What, what, what plate do you like? I like ribs. Ribs? Okay. All right, young guy. Which one do you like? I like the chopped brisket. Chopped brisket? Yeah. Okay, now here's the grand leader, and he's the main man. So we want to find out, why do you come to Henry's? I like the number one, the food's great, and uh, free ice cream. <laughs> Man, look at the smoke ring. Beautiful smoke ring. Wow. All right. Well, we'll take you through the server line here at Henry's. And uh, come on back. Let's take a look and see what we got. All right. Starting off with our pork ribs here. Pork ribs, uh, one of the most popular items we sell. We sell a whole bunch of them every day. Um, everything in here gets a nice dry rub. We don't we don't do any any mops, anything like that. It's all a dry rub. Our brisket, this is sliced brisket. Uh, we do cut it early just because it's so busy. We need the speed, and so we go ahead and cut it up in the mornings and get it ready to go. Uh, the sausage, um, it's a black oak sausage. It's a real real popular sausage. People are loving it. 
Beef ribs, as we talked about earlier, takes 12 hours to smoke them. Um, it's a real popular item. Our pulled pork smoked for about 13, 14 hours every night. Uh, do you use primarily Boston butts, or what do you use? Shoulders, or what? We well, all use all shoulders. All shoulders. It's all okay. shoulders. Yes, sir. Uh, this green chili brisket I was talking about. And it said in New Mexico, you gotta have some green chili. Um, so that's our green chili. The chopped brisket, it's just a chopped brisket. Uh, we do put a little bit of barbecue sauce in that and the pulled pork. Now where do you get the barbecue sauce from? Uh, we make it right here. We make our own barbecue sauce. Uh, is, is it your mixture or was it? It's our recipe. It's one of our friends that has been friend of the family forever. Uh, he went ahead and uh, gave us his recipe. Uh, they made it out on an oil rig actually, out on the offshore oil rig. So wow. Lots of time was put into making that sauce. So. Uh, you got some chicken, the turkey. Um, once again, everything's done with the dry rub. Uh, now, where's the dry rub? Can can someone purchase this dry rub? Is this strictly I don't have your... it for sale yet. No, okay. uh, I'm sure someone could purchase it if they needed to. But uh, yeah, we don't have anything set up yet. We're trying. Okay. So we got a chili. The chili is kind of unique here. A lot of people are loving it. It's all of our meats, some beans. Uh, one of the ladies that works for us, JB, made that chili, and uh, wow. it's gone like crazy. People absolutely love it. You got your normal sweet beans, spicy beans, uh, with the jalapenos, uh, corn. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Macaroni, one of the most popular. Everyone's got to have macaroni. It's just a staple, I think, of everybody. Uh, corn, green beans. Now, this is something new. Once again, it's got the green chili in it. It's a loaded potato. It's got green chili, cheese, bacon. Um, been very, very popular. New potatoes is a new item we just put on. Um, we're gonna have to try. We're gonna have to try that when you make a plate. Absolutely. And the potatoes are all smoked, so you get the smoke flavor in all of our baked potatoes. Or smoked potatoes, I guess. So. Wow, that's great. Well, let's go back and check the right, cooker. Come on back. Let's look at it. Back here's where all the cooking's done. As I said, it is a Southern Pride smoker. Uh, one of the best smokers I think you can get. Some people really, really love them. And right now we've got, that's our uh, chicken wings. Uh, we do have chicken wings. That's another real popular item. In fact, we sold out early, early this morning. Folks, uh, I wish you could smell the smoke that just came out of that cooker. It's beautiful. It's a nice, nice smoke. So, yeah, that. I think we've got some turkey and some ribs coming along here in a second. Well, tell us a little bit about how long you've been cooking barbecue. Okay. Well, we've been open at this for three years. Um, before that, I, I helped the gentleman. Uh, he taught me kind of a lot of the barbecuing. Uh, but my family's been in the restaurant industry for my whole life. So I grew up in restaurants. This is the first barbecue restaurant. I've ever had, so. Wow. What you got there in the van? Here's our pork ribs. Here's our chicken. Uh, it's nice and juicy. And uh, as you can see, we've got the dry rub on top of it. Yeah. Get a nice big, the smoke really injects it, and then that rub just kind of blows through. Here's the smoke taste coming along. Wow, folks, now when I first walked up, all I could see was the chicken wings. I thought that was all you had. This is a big smoker, it's isn't it? It's a big it? smoker, yes, sir. Yeah, you can do a lot of food in this smoker. <laughs> it stays busy all the time, so. And that's our smoker. All right. So we well, get it all done. Well, John Henry, just to hear from you, uh, just a minute for the, for the barbecue world. Uh, just tell us uh, how you got, what age you started at and how you got started in barbecue. Uh, well, I've loved barbecue my whole life and uh, so I started doing little backyard barbecue for a long time. But three years ago is when we really started doing it big and uh, so it's just been three years here. Before that, like I said, I worked for a friend and, and helped him at his barbecue restaurant. He uses the Southern Pride. He taught me a lot to do with it. So. Well, we'd like to invite you to come out and compete sometime. And uh, since you're a pit master and you do it every day for a living, and uh, to come on Barbecue Superstar sometime, and uh, we've got a posted place. Get on our blog. Post us a blog. Now, say your name again. My name is John Henry. Okay, so, John Henry. And we'll be out there tomorrow. We've got a little team going. So oh, you oh we'll you you, you are yes, competing sir. tomorrow. Yes, sir. Okay, so great. We'll be out there. We'll, we'll so, be looking for you. All, all right. right. Well, thank you so much. We love Henrys. So we get you a plate set up for you. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you the pork ribs. That's the what everybody comes for. They love the pork ribs. Great smoke ring. Make sure you get some of the taste of the brisket we got coming in here. Gotta try sausage. Now folks, I don't know if this is making you hungry, but this is making me real hungry. I hope so. You can have a lot to eat. 
<laughs> Gotta try the green chili since it's around here. Now, John, it's 105 degrees outside. This is not gonna get me sweating too bad, is it? Not too bad, but it's gonna make you sweat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that looking and, good. And how about some sides? What kind of sides do you like? Uh, give, give me some of that chili, and just a little bit of that chili in the Double front so chili. we can see you. Mix it around, dump just a little bit. Yeah, we'll get it real deep Because that, that plate, folks, is getting about 10 feet high. <laughs> you said you're hungry. We're going to make sure you leave full. And then potatoes with the chili in it. Got to try those. And then I didn't show you earlier, but let me grab you a roll. That's the top romper. Oh yeah, that's what you need videos our rolls. That's what everybody's going to buy. Dozens and dozens of these rolls at a time. So there is your plate, all set to go. Now John, if you was going to put a number on that plate, which number would that be? I would probably call that a big boy, because you're going to eat about a pound of meat. So you better be real hungry. <laughs> well folks, we're going to go over there and sit down. Let's see what happens. Beautiful smoke ring. Wow. Man, those competition ribs, look. Clean bite through. Let's cut the competition ribs in here. Okay, let's go with a little spicy on them. Oh, no. Wow, they're really done good. Taste that pepper taste soon as you put it in your mouth. Not too bad. No, it's good. It's not hot. It's not, it's not burning me up. Okay, we're going to give the brisket the full test. Oh, perfect. Hey, Jim Burr, what do you think? That was a pretty good pull there. What you think, Danny? Take a look at this video and see what you think. Beautiful spider web. Beautiful. Nice smoke ring. Oh yeah. Okay, these are potatoes that have chilies in them. Now folks, what it seems like is, I eat one, one uh, part of this and it's not very hot. But as I go around the plate and I eat all of it, I can feel the temperature of my mouth is slowly going up. Well, sort of quickly now. But I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go ahead and continue. All right, folks. Man, I ate the biggest plate. You guys just watched me over there. And uh, it was funny. One of the things really didn't get me that hot. But as I kept going around the circle in the big green chilies, we're just in everything. It got a little smoky and warm over there. But you know, in the Southwest, that's what it's about. And it was some of the best food I ever ate. And you know what, fellas? I'm gonna have to give you guys a grade from A to Z on how good A being the best and Z being the worst. And Barbecue Superstars is gonna have to give you a great big A plus. Woo! Now, smoking on the pesos is the last week of June every year. We're down here in 
Azia? Artesia, New Mexico. I can't get the word straight. Make sure that you make a destination stop at Henry's Barbecue. Get over here with John Benry and the big old crew here. Now, I'm going to do a big one, two, three, and I want everybody to say, we love Henry's Barbecue. Here we go. One, two, three. We love Henry's Barbecue. See you, baby Lopez. All right. You can't get any better than that. This is Daryl going down to the competition now. I've done eight my fill. I'm just going to go down there and have some fun now. We're going to move down and check it out. This is Daryl Barbecue Superstar saying, hell yeah. Thank you.